Uh, hello. So what we're doing is that we're working on getting our again our bullet M2 connected, and these are used, of course, with an omnidirectional antenna, which gives you a greater um, coverage in terms of distance for wireless um, push out. Um, so I have that connected to a PoE, connected in to my laptop. By default, the IP addresses for these devices are. Um, 192.168.1.20 um, by default and the password of course for ubiquity devices um, by default is UBNT UAD. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to log into the device and show you guys how to quickly configure one to have it set up for um, for your client in no time. So let's jump into it. Let's see if we can get into the device and see what happens. All right, so by default, again, my IP address I'm saying is 192.168.1.20. And so I have that in already. So when I click on that, it um, says that your know, connection is not private. Click on advance to move on so that you can proceed into logging into the device. And should bring up this screen for the first. And so um, the by default the username is UBNT and your password is also UBNT and select our country three choices normally use um, US agree to your terms and conditions and then um, log in so the first thing we notice is that we want to First of all, this will be used as an access point. Okay, these can also be used as stations. And so having it as an access point, then we want to specify um, that we will be using it as an access point. So in the wireless tab, we'll select access point. And I, I like this particular device and I'll talk about it now. Um, there's a, another feature called AP repeater, uh, which you can simply link one device to the other. And so what you could have is one bullet set up as AP or as an access point repeater and the other one set up somewhere around um, and they can communicate with each other using the same um, wireless name using the same wireless name and of course then the person is able to roam around from one wireless device to the other so that's one great feature where they're simply that you can they can be used in repeater mode right so for us though sorry for us we're using it as an access point only um, because this is standing by itself in an open area to simply give the um, the clients um, internet access. So we'll do the transparent bridge mode. I will call my ID or the SSID that I want for the wireless that I want for the wireless um, as algorithm because that's the area I'm feeding. It is important we change the channel width to 20 megahertz um, just to accommodate the devices that um, talk to each other. Um, in that frequency so 20 megahertz is used for your laptops the cell phones and so forth that you have around so the regular devices the antenna gain um, that I'm working with I will attach this device to a 16 dbi um, antenna so I'll put in there 16 and I, I get that of course from the antenna itself that I purchased um, security we don't have need for any security feature that we'll put in here um, for right now so we we'll leave it open and then this is of course for the um, persons to be able to put in some sort of password in order to log in so notice it's asking you to change I'll change that in a while to change the administrator password for the device so we'll do that in a few so after we have this and everything is set I leave it as auto frequency and of course you can choose um, the different frequencies based on where you are uh, or there's network congestion because of too many of the same devices around then you can select a frequency but for us we we'll leave it on auto because i know there's little to no interference in the area that i'm going to install this device so let's click on change um so it has uh, it has made those changes to the name and so forth i can click apply at this point just to have the device keep everything but i will continue making changes to the device before i select the apply um, button so let's do network um configuration we leave it as simple i want to change the ip address to something a little bit more in line with what is there so i'm changing it from the default 
to 192.168.1.32. Uh, everything else is okay. STP, I don't need that. Um, STP is a spanning tree protocol, by the way, to allow you to move from one year, which is how your cell phones work. You can move from one um, cell site to another. In, in this case, you can move from one device to the other and it identifies um, the device. Kind of what I was talking about earlier with the two devices linked together. So change, so we only change the IP address there to 32. So I know that my next login will be 32 when I apply changes, but I'm not applying that yet. Um, the other important thing, we can go into system, we can change our device name, bullet M2. Um, I normally like to label, put in a label of where I'm actually am working. So my device name, I call bullet M2 at the Agro building. Administrator password, um, username, let's change that to admin. Uh, and, I, and again, remember, you can put this to anything you want. And then you can change the password here by clicking on that key. My current password is UDNT. And then, of course, I want to type in my new password. And then I can change. So new password, verifying new password. Enter a valid new password for verification. This is a new password. That should do it. Yep. And so you notice that that little um, pop-up that was saying um, to change the administrator password has gone away. Um, if you have configuration data you want to upload, um, in this case it, it would be always be it's always nice to back up your configuration data just in case something blows and you want to quickly jump and put that configuration onto our next device. Always a good idea. If you have that already, you can choose to upload to a file and it pushes that data onto the device for you, which makes it easy, right? Um, very important that a lot of people would miss this is that if I were to apply changes to this now and try to connect to it with my phone or with my laptop, it wouldn't connect wirelessly because we often overlook this section um, for the air max setting that is on. If this, with this air max setting on, other ubiquity devices can connect to the device, but you'll have a problem connecting your phones and uh, your laptops and so forth. I fought at this for a couple of hours trying to figure out what was wrong the first time I, I had uh, I configured a device like this um, and did a little bit of research. Not and apparently not much people have it on the web. Uh, that you turn off your Macs to have the other devices connect on, connect in, uh, being able to connect to it. So I'll disable your Macs, and again, this allows for the other devices, um, the old devices that are not ubiquitous based, to connect to my device. Right? So change, and I'm pretty much good to go. So I've configured that. I have all of my data for my wireless in. Uh, to what I want. I've configured my antenna um, gain. I can put in wireless security if I wanted to. I made changes to my IP address so that it's not the default IP address. Um, and I also did some changing to, to, to password to the device and gave my device a name. So now I will apply and we'll get this installed at the client's place and see how it works. So that's it. That's your basic configuration for the Bullet M2. These are very durable devices. Um, they operate at the 2.4 gigahertz um, frequency. And so you, you have devices um, such as your phones and laptops that can connect to these easily. And of course, with the additional antenna, it gives you more coverage in terms of Wi-Fi coverage um, in a particular area. So these are great to cover small neighborhoods, a park, um, if you, and, and because it's outdoor, um, you can install it on the, in a rooftop or somewhere uh, on, on the outside if you want to cover large areas. Right? So thank you. We'll, we'll look at the installation in a few. Um, when I'm on site, I'll see if I can do some video to show you guys. Bye.
side and this is the device that we changed.